It's more than they first admitted. Tonight, the DMV says it accidentally added more than 1,200 non-citizens to Oregon voter rolls after saying last week only 300 ineligible voters were added. I'm Jeff Chianola. It's 11 o'clock. Well, the DMV calls it a clerical error involving Oregon's motor voter registration. But the governor is now asking for an immediate investigation to make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's bring in Ariel Yakabazi joining us live tonight. So how are other state officials and leaders responding to this news tonight, Ariel? Well, Jeff, a state Republicans say they aren't too happy with how things are being handled right now. They want a little more clarification and they say they also want a better investigation done and they just want their their questions really answered. We want to have questions to be asked and answers. Tonight, a review by the Oregon Department of Motor Vehicles found more ineligible voters were added to the rolls in the state system. The initial review found about 300, and now there are 1,259. Just nine of those people have actually voted. While we deeply regret the situation has occurred, we move swiftly to correct the issue before the coming election. And even though the agency did a review, state Republicans want a different, more open investigation. Former Representative Christine Drazen calling for a pause on automatic voter registration in the state. Oregon House Republican leader Jeff Helfrich also sounding the alarm. Helfrich taking issue with how things are being handled amid this error. Every vote matters, and if somebody's votes that's not eligible to vote and pushes one candidate over that shouldn't have gotten the shouldn't have won. That's a problem. Ben Morris with the Oregon Secretary of State's office says this error will not impact the general election. Since the program came online, more than 760,000 people have successfully registered to vote through the system. The error we're talking about today impacted 1,259 records. That's 0.1 percent of all the registrations that have come through the DMV. So while any error needs to be taken seriously, and we are taking this very seriously. We can take com some comfort in the fact that the system is generally working correctly. Still, Helfrich says he and his party want a hearing, so more questions can be asked and hopefully answered. People want to know their vote matters and it's going to be counted. And the ones that can't be counted, make sure those are not counted either. Now, the Secretary of State's office has assured us that this is, again, a clerical error and just a mistake, and it won't impact this year's general election. Now, they are putting some safeguards in place to make sure this won't happen again. You can view our full story on coin.com. Reporting live in downtown Portland tonight, Ariel Yakabazi, Coin 6 News. All right.